what is up beautiful family how are we oh the sun is shining behind me we're out on our morning walk and i'm going to let laura in here very shortly but first we're going to talk a little bit about Chris's nose who here knows hey james what your nervous system is and how it helps you lead we talk a lot about mindset goals we talk a lot about you know shifting beliefs and limiting beliefs but rarely do we talk about the nervous system hey laura and so laura is on here today i'm gonna to ask her a few questions we're gonna go deep into how the nervous system helps us lead Laura, I wonder if you can share a little bit about what you and I were talking about earlier, about how high strung a lot of high performing people are and, and why you felt that you, you fell into that sort of career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, with now understanding trauma, it's so interesting because, and I've shared this before that if you had have told me a few years ago, if I experienced trauma in my childhood, I would have said no. Um, because it was just so normalized that there would be yelling parents or all of these kind of like people just not emotionally available for me when I was a child. There was just a lot of busyness. My mom was there. She had three kids. My dad owned a business. My mom helped in the business. She's trying to navigate all of this stuff. I was talking with my mom just the other day. She was looking after my two nieces. Um, Maya and Noah and she, they're three and nine months and she was looking after the two of them for two days and she was like oh my gosh like I don't understand how I did this with three kids running a business having all of the responsibilities she was she was a big um, perfectionist so the house had to be completely clean all the time all of these things to focus on and it just didn't provide the attention that children need emotionally and because of that, as a child, when we don't understand our emotions, we then start creating stories about ourselves and we start doing things like people pleasing or all these stuff. And it all comes down to nervous system regulation. Um, it's interesting when you, when you see a child and, and they're screaming or yelling, the body just contracts. And that is the nervous system kicking on into that fight or flight mode where we will either fawn, which is the closure, we will come into the fight or we will come into the flight of running. And that is our sympathetic nervous system. And so with that as children, um, when that kind of happens, the nervous system can almost get kicked on and stay on, which impacts our, our hormones, our cortisol levels, like everything. And then we just get used to being in that state. And our, our mind, our ego starts forming identities of ourselves, of who we perceive ourselves being based off of our nervous system being in this hyperactive mode. And it's interesting because as I went through this journey, the person that I thought I was, this identity that I had was an identity based off of my nervous system being activated all the time. So I was very guarded. I wasn't very open when it came to emotional intimacy and relationships and all of these pieces. I was very closed off without knowing it. And I didn't even know that there was another way of being out there where I could be more grounded and more settled and more present and um, really be able to connect and listen because before my mind was always going. So even when somebody would be talking, my mind was already just trying to, to either say something or it was judging something or there was other stuff kind of going on in my mind. So I couldn't really be fully present. And as I kind of went through my life, it was interesting going into the career being a paramedic. And this is what Julie and I were talking about before was that because my nervous system was so used to being engaged all of the time, it made it very easy for me to be in this role of being a paramedic because my nervous system was so, so activated that it just nothing really kind of impacted me in, in, a, in a way that some people would, would react in those situations. And it wasn't until my body started breaking down. And I actually remember being on a call one time, um, there was a, uh, an accident where a car went into a bus shelter and there was a woman there under the car and I was going to the ambulance to grab the backboard because we had to pull her out and um, I completely blanked. I couldn't even remember where the backboards were in the ambulance 
And I remember this call because I was just like, I've never experienced that before in my life where it was completely like, I wasn't even really in my body of remembering anything. And that to me, even at that point, I didn't even recognize that that was something very severe that was happening within my body because I've never had any awareness around trauma, which is very interesting to me seeing as a lot of these careers where paramedics, like people who are exposed to, to helping with trauma all the time, like nurses, like healthcare workers, the military, all of these things, like the lack of trauma awareness within ourselves of how being in these environments actually impact us, the, the care providers um, is very surprising. So lots of stuff like that. And then now it's interesting moving out into now, obviously I had health breakdowns. It pivoted me into my, um, into what I'm doing now with the holistic health and the trauma and doing the emotional clearing and the Reiki and the energy healing and all of the holistic stuff. Now it's the, the learning how to live with a regulated nervous system. And um, it's weird when your body is so used to being on that guard defensive state, it becomes that normal. So then it's almost like there's a fear of like, oh my gosh, well, what will life be like if I have a regulated nervous system? And um, for me, I was actually on a, on a client call earlier today and um, there was, it came up in my own awareness of something within me where it was like, I attach when my guards come up and my nervous system activates, it brings me back to the traumas in my relationships because of um, like the six year relationship that I had that kind of went south. And um, I thought I was going to be with this person my whole entire life. And we had dogs together, the house together, all of the things. And then that kind of came crashing down and kind of fell apart. And my mind kind of attached to that. So every time now in my present body, when that guard comes up, it's like, I want to push people away. And even just having that awareness of that nervous system, okay, now it comes up, now I'm aware of it. And now I have the tools to be able to be like, okay, I'm safe. And I'm recognizing that I don't need to push this person away because there is no immediate threat there. Now I can now start reprogramming a new way of being where the intimacy comes in, where the pleasure comes in, where the joy comes in, where the love comes in, where the just the tapping into the vulnerable pieces of me that are just authentic. And I don't have to feel shame for being who I am. And I feel like that nervous system journey is really the big journey of leadership because when we can really fully be in our authentic selves and also have the awareness that trauma isn't something that just goes away. You know, it's something we learn to live with and every human being on this planet has experienced so much um, trauma. And even if you aren't seeing it quite yet in your life, like there's been traumas that have been passed down generationally through our lineages and our families. And we carry all of this stuff in our bodies and we pick up things. I was actually doing a healing session um, a couple of days ago um, with a mentor of mine. And um, one of the things that came up was this big block around money. And it came up when, when we tapped into it in the body, it came up that it was from three generations ago on my dad's side, which was when the war was happening in Austria and that scarcity around around money and that was still anchored in my physical body that I could feel that was holding me back capping me on where I'm at because of what was happening there and if you imagine at those times like oh my gosh they weren't thinking about money and that they were just trying to get food on the table so that their family could eat and stuff like that and they found that all of these things kind of passed down generationally into our own bodies so I think really like the biggest journey for everybody on this path of wanting to create more contribution, wanting to create more fulfillment, wanting to create more abundance in their life and just make the planet a better place really is that journey of understanding self, which the, a big piece of understanding self is understanding that nervous system. And cause that is the body and the mind, how the mind, the body and the spirit connect. And then from that place, then we can really open up to bigger possibilities, start anchoring in new, frequencies and new energies and new emotions of the, the love um, to the planet and be able to continue playing that out. Boom. <laughs> Mic drop for Laura Kuda. I just want to honor you as a beautiful soul before my phone dies. Yeah. Um, one of the key ways to regulate the nervous system and like, you know, I'm sure a lot of us have had experiences. Maybe we all weren't paramedics, but we've all had an experience that has heightened our nervous system. And uh, for me, even I was voicing yesterday um, with my own mentor that I still have some memories from my childhood that surface 
that are quite visceral and and only just now do I feel like my body has really opened up to receiving those memories because it's ready to heal. And so at every stage of our healing journey, the nervous system opens and opens and opens. But if I watch a video of myself five or six years ago, I look at that person and I can feel her and how rushed, rushed she was and how she was rushing through decisions and how she was making decisions completely ungrounded. And I feel for her, you know, and I, I'm so grateful now for these tools. So I wanted to share one tool, the biggest helpful thing that we could do to regulate our nervous system is the breath. And if we can take a nice big deep belly breath into our bodies at a moment in time, it will allow us to open. Oh my goodness, there's a beautiful hawk. Oh wow. my God. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. The hawk medicine. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's two of them. The beautiful breath will allow the hawk energy to come in. <laughs> <laughs> And it will allow you to see new possibilities and to have a regulated nervous system, no matter what situation you're in. If you feel anxious because you have to speak on stage, taking big, deep belly breaths and grounding into the body. Yesterday, we had our Recover and Rise call, and it was so powerful. People needed space held for them to release. And when they released, they discovered their true authentic voice. And that is the most important voice that we can be with because that true authentic voice trumps the mind. It trumps what we think we need to be doing. It trumps all these rush decisions. And so really, you know, if you're feeling called into that, we're here for you. But before my phone dies, I just wanted to say thank you, Laura. Powerful share. If you want to take this away, I will mute myself. Um, and maybe just share what you shared with me this morning about the, you know, I seem to be feeling and I allow myself that mm -hmm. piece or anything that you feel helps you regulate the nervous system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And does anybody have any questions on here as well? If you have any questions about the nervous system, about anything you're moving through right now, or you're relating, you're resonating with anything that's been shared, just let us know in the comments there. Um, yeah, so I was right now currently um as i shared earlier i was in a six-year relationship and then coming back into dating and getting out seeing people it really has been activating a lot in my nervous system when it comes to being with men again and so even like a simple text will activate my nervous system and i get super anxious right and so just having that awareness of my nervous system it's just like oh isn't that interesting i seem to be feeling very anxious right now knowing that my mind is just, it's creating this, this feeling and this protection based off of past experiences because our mind is just a record of the past. So having that awareness of that, I can be like, okay, isn't that interesting? I seem to be feeling very anxious right now. I don't need to get into stories of what, what, what trauma it was that caused this. It's really just about landing into the present moment of what we're experiencing in the moment. That is really what self-awareness is, is having that awareness around self and how the mind, the body, and the spirit are all interacting all together. So with that, oh, isn't that interesting? I seem to be feeling anxious. So that, which means, okay, my nervous system is getting activated. It just means it's kicking into that fight or flight mode because it has a perceived threat, right? And so with that, then it's just a matter of being able to be like, okay, that's interesting. My nervous system is on. Well, what would it look like for me to now be able to settle my nervous system? And then how can I allow myself to actually move through that? And so like Julia said, having those tools like the breath to go to for me, I love doing meditations. Um, I joke about it on my Instagram story all the time because I do my own meditations. I record them, put them on Insight Timer, and then I'm doing them myself all the time because <laughs> it is really powerful when it's in your own voice um, to do them. So I'm always doing that. I'm getting out in nature like Julia is right now. Like nature is truly connected to, it's, it's just such a pure frequency, right? Being around those people that you feel safe with like that will regulate your nervous system. When we have two humans together, our nervous systems actually co-regulate, which is really cool. That's why being in partnership where you can really be with each other will help regulate each other's nervous systems when you have that awareness around it. So really going on that journey of understanding and having more tools to be able to um, regulate your nervous system is so important when we're kind of on this, this healing journey because we can dig to the deep roots and sessions and get to the roots of things. 
But then we also need to be able to have those tools of what we're doing in the day to day when stuff comes up, because I can't have this stuff come up and be calling my 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 friend, I'll probably call Julia and be like, yo, I need I need to have a session right now because I need to get to the roots of this. Like that's good to get to the roots, but it's also us learning how to be self-sufficient and working with our trauma and being able to to navigate our lives um, in an effective way and still be able to have relationships and all of these things on this journey. So um, I'd love to know in the comments, like what are some of those um, tips and tricks that you use to be able to regulate your nervous system? Because there's literally, there's so many ways that work. There's like tapping, there's shaking your body. There's so many other different things that you can kind of lean into. And in Recover and Rise, like Julia said as well, we really tap more into um, a, lot of, a lot of different ways to be able to um, dive deeper into the understanding of what comes up so that we can actually clear the stuff that's under there. So it's Recover and Rise is even deeper than the regulation piece it's getting also to the roots of what it is but on the day-to-day -day basis um, having those tools so you can really do that on your own and be able to shift and transmute this stuff is there anything you'd like to add julia just that you are beautiful everyone here on this call is beautiful uh, if you would like to shift into a powerful nervous system a regulated nervous system Something that's going to help you become the best leader that you can be, recover and rise, is where it's at. Laura and I are pouring everything that we have into the people that are on these calls. And if you're in this group and you are in recover and rise and you were on last night, please feel free to share your experience because it was so magical. Um, but thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Yes. Thank you for being on here. We love you so much. <laughs> We'll see you next week. Bye, Julia. Enjoy your walk.